So are we not getting PS4 mods? I just wanted to talk a little bit about this concept and the probability of us actually not getting mods at all on PS4. And unfortunately, I think as a PS4 user, me and you should both be really taking that into consideration. Now, I don't know anything that you don't. We all have the same information to us. The last time Bethesda talked about mods on PS4 was about three weeks ago when they told us that they're not coming to PS4. And unfortunately, I think a realistic outcome to this now is they're never coming to PS4. So the optimist in me is saying that's not possible, mainly because Skyrim Remastered is coming out in a few months and I think a huge portion of the sales for that game are going to be based around whether there are mods or not. So if there's no mods on PS4, I bet the Xbox One version will sell a lot more, etc, etc. For that reason, there's a lot riding on Bethesda, but more importantly a lot riding on Sony to actually get mods working. But this isn't the first time we've seen Bethesda and Sony have some issues. Some of you guys may remember that Skyrim actually had a lot of issues on PS3. So obviously Skyrim's pretty old at this point and it's technically an entirely different console, but that was the last release from Bethesda. So what exactly happened with Skyrim on PS3? Well, two things. First and foremost, on release of the regular Skyrim base game, there were some issues on PS4 with some save files getting too big and there was a lot of lag issues. Basically, Bethesda shipped the game knowing there's some issues, they didn't realize these of the issues and a lot of PS4 users or rather PS3 users had issues. I don't think this is really important to focus on, I just wanted to let you guys know that that was a thing. I think it's important to look really closely at the release of Dawnguard, which is actually the first DLC for Skyrim. That had issues on PS3 as well. It began with Bethesda simply announcing that Dawnguard won't be coming out on PS3 at the same time as Xbox 360 and PC. This was a bummer, but not a huge deal. None of the huge red flags were raised yet. A few weeks later, they came out and said it might never be coming. They said they were having too many problems on the PS3 releasing that DLC, and well, long story short, you know, it eventually did come to PS3 and was released successfully. But just take into consideration how big of a tweet that was, telling your players that on one console, you might just not be able to get the DLC. That's insane and a really big deal because I'm sure a lot of people hearing that instantly jumped onto other platforms. A rumor going around at the time was that was that Sony was in fact making Bethesda's life more difficult and not fully aiding them in getting their DLCs over. Not preventing them either, but they just weren't helping to the extent that Microsoft was. Now this really doesn't prove anything about today. That was a really long time ago, but I think it's important to remember that that happened and food for thought. Are there tensions between Bethesda and Sony today? I mean, I don't think we'll ever know or find out, but for the time being, I think that's a major concern and something that is plausible. I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen. I could predict and speculate, but really, that's not going to get any of us anywhere. Although, one thing I do really want to look at is the way Bethesda handled the Dawnguard situation is a lot better than they're handling the mod situation right now. When Dawnguard was having issues, they got on top of it right away. They told people that, hey, this might not be happening at the same time before it was supposed to happen which is key. Bethesda gave us, what, two days notice that mods weren't coming on PS4? Whatever, if things just worked out that way, I get it, it happens. But now it's been three weeks and we haven't had a word from them. With the Dawnguard situation, they tweeted a week or two weeks later, letting people know, hey, this is what we're doing, this is the problems we're facing, and prepare for the worst. It really disappoints me that Bethesda's not going to get any real backlash for this whole mod situation. Such a large majority of the players have just left, so they don't care about Fallout 4 anymore. So those of you who are still playing on PS4 or who are waiting for mods on PS4, it's not that big, not enough to make a splash, which is unfortunate because I think Bethesda deserves some backlash for this. Fallout 4 released as a good game and a lot of people found out it was actually a pretty disappointing game. I think the way they handled mods was deplorable, but I think the way they're continuing to handle it is just as bad. I don't understand why no communication is the policy they're taking, but I really think something should be done about it. I just don't think anything will be done about it. I fully expect that Skyrim Remastered will sell really well on PS4, which is unfortunate, even if mods are not released at that point. I just wanted to make a video covering my opinions. Who knows, maybe in two days we'll have mods on PS4 out, but the way it's looking, PS4 players, I would prepare for the worst. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later.